Today we're going to talk about properties of equality as we get ready to start solving equations. This is on chapter 1-3. Properties of equality. You've been over these before. It ought to be a nice review. First one is reflexive. Reflex. Well, let's get an L in there. Reflexive property. Reflexive property simply says that something is equal to itself. Now, all of these properties are for all real numbers represented by A, B, and C. Okay? And this basically reflexive says A equals A. A number, a variable, is equal to itself. Okay? Let's translate that into a number. It simply says 7 equals 7. Or into a little equation, 7x plus 3 equals 7x plus 3. Something is always equal to itself. The next property is symmetric. Symmetric property. Pretty simple too. It simply says if A equals B, then B equals A. Okay? We can trade that around. Let's take that into a little expression or an equation. If 6y plus 4 equals 7y minus 3, then 7y minus 3 equals 6x plus 4. Okay? The next one is the transitive property. Again, it says this. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Okay. Simple little example of that would be this. 5x plus 2 equals 22. All right. And 22 equals 3y plus 1. Then we can say 5x plus 2 equals 3y plus 1. Okay? That's what that says. Reflexive, something is equal to itself. Symmetric, if something is equal to something else, then something else is equal to that. I look at this as I look in the mirror, I see myself. That's reflexive. Symmetric. Identical twins look like each other. Down here, if I have identical triplets, and I have one, triplet one looks like triplet two, and triplet two looks like triplet three, then triplet one looks like triplet three. Okay? That's all we're seeing here. Now let's get rid of this and look at some other properties. Okay? Alright, some of the other properties that we can look at are <coughs> the substitution property. Substitution property simply says that if A equals B, then we can substitute A for B anywhere. Alright? An example of that. 3B plus 4 equals 20. If A equals B, then we could also say 3A plus 4 equals 20. Okay? That's all that is. If two things equal each other, then we can use that and substitute that back and forth. We could also say 4X no, we're not using X's, are we? We 
could also say 4B plus 5 equals 26, then 4A plus 5 equals 26. Substitution properly just simply means that if A equals B, then we can substitute A for B at any point in time. Now one of the ways we use this in solving equations is really simple. I have an equation that says 4 plus 5 quantity times X equals 18. Well, real simple addition says 4 plus 5 equals what? Over here at the side, 4 plus 5 equals 9. Well, if 4 plus 5 equals 9, then I can replace the 4 plus 5 with 9x equals 18. Okay? So those are reflexive, symmetric, transitive, in substitution. Let's go on. We've got some other properties that we call the properties of of equations have to do with addition and uh, sub subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's look at first one, addition. Addition property of equality. And again, these are for all real numbers, A, B, and C. If a equals B, then A plus C equals B plus C. That simply says, oh wow, if I've got two things that are equal to each other, uh, I don't change anything by adding C to both sides. That's the concept that says, I can do anything I want to that equation in addition as long as I do it to both sides. What did we do? We simply added C to both sides. Subtraction says the same thing, except we change the sign. If A equals B, then it follows that A minus C equals B minus C. And again, simply says if two things equal each other, then it's not going to change the equation if I subtract the same quantity from both sides. All right, let's go to the multiplication version of this. If A equals B, then it follows that A times C equals B times C. All right. Two things equal something, then if I multiply the A by C and I multiply the B by C, I have to change that. Okay? Let's look at division. If A equals B, then A divided by C equals B divided by C. Okay? <coughs> now let's we'll put in some examples that tell us exactly and show us what how this works in an equation. Alright? <clears throat> we'll put those in black. If I have 4x plus 5 equals 20, then I can say 4x plus 5 plus 3 equals 20 plus 3. Okay? That's all that says. Maybe a more useful one would be 6y minus 5 equals 30. Then we can say 6y minus 5 Then we can say 6y minus 5 plus 5 equals 30 minus plus 5. Okay? So all we've done here is we've taken this side of the equation and said, oh, it's 6y minus 5. 6y minus 5 
we can simply add a 5 to that side. If we add it to this side, we can also add it to this side. Okay, let's scratch that out. All right, <laughs> down here, an example of that one would be, let's say 7 m plus 2 equals 15, then 7m plus 2 minus 2 equals 15 minus 2. Okay? Allows us to do that. On the multiplication, y divided by 4 equals 20. Then I can say 4y divided by 4 equals 20 times 4. Okay? Simply multiplying both sides by 4. <coughs> and on the last one, 5x equals 30. Then I can say 5x divided by 5 equals 30 divided by 5. Okay? So those are our properties, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, one of the things I want to show you about the reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. out is I, I uh, abbreviate these and I'll simply say um, this is this is get it right here in a minute this is R this is S and this is T and then I'll come along also and I say this is 1 this is 2, and this is 3. <coughs> RST, 1, 2, 3. Now watch how this works out. The R, go back to your notes, says this. A equals A. Has one thing, doesn't it? I look in the mirror. I am one thing. I am one being. I, I look in the mirror, I see myself. Let's look at symmetric. Symmetric says A equals B, then B equals A. Okay? <coughs> so if I see a situation like this where something equals itself and there's only one thing, then I know it's one thing and it's an R, which means it's reflexive. Oh wow, this is an order. R S T. Alphabetic. In order of numeric. One, two, three. If I see two things like this, and, it, and they're like this, they're doing this, and I know there's two things involved, it has to be symmetric. All right, now, how about this one? Okay, three things. A equals B, and B equals C. Then, A equals C. How many things are involved? A and B, that's two. Oh, we throw a C in. That's three, <coughs> excuse me. That's three. So we now have three things involved. Three things involved. That's T. One, two, 